guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I decided to take myself for a little shopping spree at Michael's because it was honestly really bothering me that in my new apartment, I didn't have any beading supplies. Like I always grew up with my mom having like this huge stash of beading supplies that we like grew over years and years and years. And once we moved, she kind of got rid of most of the stuff and I didn't have any of my own personal beading stuff. So I really wanted to go out and just spend way too much money on all the supplies that I needed. So I thought I would turn it into kind of a fun like bead with me video that's just really chill and fun. So I'm going to show you guys like all the stuff that I got and I honestly didn't use all of it for the video. This is just what I'm getting to make sure that I had all of the supplies that I could possibly want. So I got a lot of different things to use for earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and a whole bunch of wire and different colors of beads. And then I also found these cute little boxes that were in the embroidery section of Michael's. And I just filled those up with all of my supplies to organize everything and honestly I thought this was a really satisfying process. But also for somebody who is very indecisive, I honestly probably like undid it and redid it like three times throughout the process of this. Just because I wanted it to be like perfectly organized for my brain, you know? And I probably could have used a fourth box, but I made it work with what I had. <laughs> And because I got these boxes from the embroidery section, it actually came with a bunch of like little embroidery thread holders. And I ended up using those for the chains that I bought. And this was one of the smartest ideas I had. It has kept them so organized. I loved this trick. And I mostly got a whole bunch of different wires. And then I also got clear elastic to make stretchy necklaces and bracelets. And then I also got some beading wire and it doesn't hold its shape like regular wire. It's just for making loose necklaces that don't stretch at all. And I also got a whole bunch of head and eye pins to use for my beads. And then I got a whole bunch of closures for my necklaces. And like I said, I pretty much just got everything that I could possibly need. And I don't take myself out for like shopping sprees like basically ever. So I had way too much fun just grabbing everything that I wanted to build up my little kit. And I also brought Aston and let him grab some things and he grabbed like little letter beads. And I also grabbed these skulls for him. And honestly, beading is just such a fun and relaxing activity. And it's also super doable for all skill levels. So it's really fun to grab like your siblings or your friends and all just do it together. So I decided to start off by making a necklace and I'm using that bead wire that I mentioned and I always like to tie just a bead that I'm not going to use to the end of it so all of my beads won't fall off while I'm threading it and then I just kind of randomly put all of my beads together to make something that I was happy with so for this one I went with mostly pastels and I did a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes of beads. And then when it was at a length that I was happy with, I took one of my crimping beads that I bought and I threaded one onto my wire and then took a lobster clasp and also threaded that through. And then I took the end of my wire and put it back through the crimping bead and then just pressed really hard on that little bead with my pliers until it was holding the wire in place. And then I just cut off all of the excess to finish up that edge. And then while I was working on the next step, I actually left the other side open just in case I wanted to add any more beads when I was done. 
And then I started taking this gold wire and adding it in little loops all across the front. And this is another one of those things that took me a few tries to get the spacing that I really liked. But once I was happy with it, I just took my little jump rings and opened them with my pliers and then put it through the chain and also the necklace wire and closed it up. And I just did that for as many rows that I wanted across the front. And then I took some little charms that I bought and just added those to the centers of it. And I wasn't really sure if I was gonna love this design or not. I had seen some other people wearing similar ones that I thought were really cute. But I'm super, super into it right now because I really like the look of maximalist jewelry, but I don't really like wearing so many layers. So this is a great alternative to it. And to finish up the other end, I did basically the same process, but instead of adding a hook to the end, I just took some more chain and thread it through the wire so that I could have multiple sizing options. This next project is definitely the simplest one out of all of them. And all I really did is I bought these threader earrings that come with a little jump ring at the end. And I took these charms that I bought off of Amazon and just put them through that little jump ring and closed it up to make these super cute asymmetrical earrings. And this is seriously so simple. Like you can make so many of these and just customize them. And I tried actually a whole bunch of different designs for this, but I ended up going back to the first idea just because I really liked the simplicity of this design. Now again, I am making some more earrings here, but this time out of my pearls. And to get a chain of pearls, you actually have to like add the wire into the beads this time. So I took those little eye pins that I bought and threaded my bead onto them and then wrapped the top of the wire around my needle nose pliers to get a circle shape and then cut off the excess. And then from there, you can use more jumpers to attach all of the beads together. And then I also decided to make a little wire ear cuff, which I will show you guys how to do a little bit later and also some more chains and added around the ear cuff to give like a faux second piercing, which is a trick that I love to do a lot because I honestly want more piercings than I have right now, um, but I only have my first ones, so this is just a fun trick to make it look like you have more. Now the next project was really inspired by this charm that came in this random box that I bought because my brother kept insisting that it looked like my new dog, Basil, so I wanted to make a little collar for her with the charm on it, so I just took some of that beading elastic that I bought and again, tied a little bead to the end to make it easier to string everything together. And then I just took all of these little random assorted beads that I had and strung them together to create this little multicolored piece. And then I took those little letter beads that my brother bought and wrote out her name and then added the charm on with a little jumper ring again and then kept adding more beads until it fit her neck. And then when you're ready, you just tie it in a double knot super tightly. Um, you can also add a little bit of glue if you're worried about it coming undone. And then you cut off your excess and that's it. And after that, I actually spent the next day playing around with shrinky dings, you know, like that shrinking plastic stuff to make a bunch of charms to use in my jewelry. And I used pastels to color them and then cut them out and put them in my oven to shrink them down, making sure to punch a hole in them before I did that. And to get these little 3D shapes, I had to manipulate the plastic while it was still hot. But I thought these were too cute not to use in the video. And I made these really cute little like blossom ones. And all I did to make them into earrings was thread one of those pins through the top of it and add a little loop. And then I attached some chain to it again with one of those jumper rings and then attached it to a fish hook earring. And then I also added on some little leaves that I made, again, just with a little jumper ring. And these are super easy and so stinking cute. And then these ones are little fairy wings that I decided to make kind of inspired by my D&D character. And again, these are super simple. You just use a jumper ring to attach both of the little wings through the loop. And then I attach that to some chain and again, another fish hook earring. And then this time, instead of stopping there, I took these cute little charms that I bought and also attach that to some chain and then again attach that to the earring and that's really all. Like honestly, you can make some really cute pieces with just very few steps. And now we're going to get into the hard stuff. So I decided to go kind of feral on this one and make this kind of like fairy ear cuff moment. 
And so this is where I am making one of my ear cuffs. And the way I do it is I take some wire and fold it in half and then wrap it around a pen. And this one was much more intricate than I usually do. Sometimes they're just like a tiny piece of wire folded in half and wrapped around. Um, but this time I wanted it to kind of crawl all the way up my ear. So I ended up making this shape that kind of reminded me of either like a mustache or a bull nose. And then from there, I just took a really thin wire and wrapped some beads around it and some more of those flowers that I made until again, I was kind of just happy with the way it was looking. And I actually redid this one twice because at first I made the mistake of putting too much wire around the part that goes around my ear. So once most of it was on, it wasn't really fitting my ear anymore. So I had to kind of cut that all off and start wrapping it just around the sides of the ear cuff so that it wouldn't hit my ear. And then again, I just took some more beads and attached them to some chain and attached them to different points on the ear cuff so that I would get kind of this like layered effect. And I am seriously in love with this piece. Like, I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but I'm going to make a time. And now we are on to the last jewelry piece that I made. And this time we're going for a necklace. So I just took the chain and cut it to a size that fit comfortably around my neck and then added a closure on either end with a little jumper ring. And you can cut the wire and actually add multiple rings if you wanna give it multiple sizing options like I decided to do. And then I just evenly spaced out more jumper rings all the way across the front of it. And once those were all on, I took my chain and cut out a bunch of pieces that were the same length. And then I started attaching those to each of my jumper rings to create these loops. And then I took some smaller ones and attached those straight down to get these dangling pieces. And then I took more of my beads and used jumper rings to attach those to the center of those spaces and also to the bottom of the dangling parts. And these pearl beads that I wanted to use actually had a hole that was too big for the pins that I bought. And so it just kept sliding through. So a little trick that I did is I just took a really tiny bead that I had and put that on the bottom and then put the pearl on so that it wouldn't be able to slide through and then wrapped the wire around it to secure it. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I am seriously in love with all of these pieces that I made. For these ear cuffs, I decided to make a smaller matching version to go on my other ear for this asymmetry moment that I thought was really, really cool. And on these earrings, I'm honestly not totally sure if they're like peaches or strawberries or just flowers, but either way, I think they're super cute. Can you guys tell that I love pink? And this necklace, I am definitely going to be wearing all summer long. It's just such a good summer vibe and I feel like I could style it so many different fun ways. And for these earrings, I think these are so beautifully subtle but still really interesting that these really go with any outfit so you can just kind of throw them on and wear them. And same thing goes for these pieces. And I just wanna keep making a whole bunch of them with like a bunch of different charms. And now everybody give it up for Basil and her modeling debut. She looks so stinking cute in this necklace. Um, but just for safety reasons, I'm probably not going to keep it on her without supervision just because I don't want her to accidentally break it. But that's actually the reason why I decided to make it long enough so that I could double it up and actually wear it as a bracelet. And then lastly, I have here the earrings and necklace that I made. And I think that this necklace is so delicate but so stunning and you guys are probably going to be seeing it in a lot of my videos. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this chill little beading video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!